Hi, I'm Ted in Korea. I think this is the third time we are sharing uh, about reform theology. Okay. Still, my English is not enough, but please give me the chance to share about the reform theological things with you guys. Okay, let me start. Hello. The topics we are going to talk about today are Scola and Stoa. Let's talk about this in connection with the content of Pastor Meichen's book, Christianity and Liberalism. I mean, Meichen who, uh, Christian Meichen who fought against liberalism. Of course, because of my English rabbit, it's not enough, but I hope it's a, it's a good sharing. It's gonna be a good sharing. It is a well-known fact that the influence of liberalism has led to the neglect of the doctrinal parts of the church today. Therefore, many churches are trying to study or teach doctrines. However, but when life doesn't seem to change, many people say that it's more important to live a proper life than to argue about doctrines and studying about doctrines and teach doctrines. In this case, there are people who emphasize the importance of studying teaching doctrines again, but I also see both sides sticking to their respective positions. Here's what I'm arguing about. I think these are concepts that already existed. We can't easily access the critical world, Skolaik, which has already been widely known by figures like Francis Bacon. It's used to criticize knowledge that doesn't seem to have anything to do with life, real life and that doesn't seem meaningful even if it know it. The term stoic is also well known. They are often known for their ideas that emphasize practice in life. Therefore, I think it is the impulse of stoic ideas to criticize that studying doctrines has nothing to do with real life and that doctrines are more important than real life is the influence of scholastic ideas. We have this passage in the book of Christianity and the Revelation of Gresham Meichen, written by Gresham Meichen. It's like not the head. I'm not sure this sentence is a uh, white sentence, uh, white, widely translated. So let me try again uh, another sentence to express the each life, not the head. Uh, head and life are different. I think this is different. Uh, we can see this is different from the head should be life. And the religion should be the life. As I argued in previous videos, not separating knowledge from will, not separating knowledge and will. I'm emphasizing once again that this is one of the important concepts that we need to think deeply about today. I think also if we understand these concepts well, it is good to study and understand these concepts antinomianism and legalism i think so okay thank you <laughs> i i see you next time okay bye